and I will leave you in the hands of Guy. Guy and Valerie. Yay! Ah, <laughs> uh, Valerie's here today. Hey, you know what? We always make fun of Shannon because she matches the set all the time. Mm -hmm. You match the I set. I do. Look what do you it. Think? See the blue cup? And she's got the blue jeans, and then look at the copper. You're amazing. And you I know, look, there's even you. a green plant, like your shirt. I totally did That's not awesome. plan that at all. <laughs> Hi, I can't Valerie. Hi, Guy. Uh, it's good to see you. Good to see you, good to see you. Yeah, Valerie's gonna be joining us on h today. Thank goodness we have her mm -hmm. here today. Uh, Shannon's coming up a little bit later in the yep. day. But you've got the Today Special on it, and it, you, you rock this. You I'm really trying do. to rock it, because rock it is it. from Juliana Rancic, and it is an unbelievable embroidered <laughs> ultra luxe moto jacket. It is stunning and is not a patch. It is actual embroidery. We have it in five stunning colors. Black, cognac, which is what I'm wearing, burgundy, blush, and navy. Our today's special is an unbelievable value. Where can you find a vegan leather moto jacket with all this beautiful details for less than $100? And we do have it on four flex. So it's $22.49 to get home. Um, I definitely want you to shop early because that navy right there, that's going to be the first to sell out. Blush is going to be the next. Next. So we will have a full presentation for you next hour. Juliana will be live here in the studio with me at 8 a.m. But it is flying out the door because it's that absolute must-have that you have to have for our fall fashion edit. All right. Well, Guy and Lou are standing by, and they're not going to talk about fashion. They're going to talk about as seen on TV. Ah, uh -huh, we are. Uh, you know what, though? We do have fashion colors, don't we, Lou? We have fashion we colors. We have fashion colors. Lou Caputo is joining me, everybody. We got an hour with Lou. I'm really excited about this, because you know if Lou's here, we're going to get stuff that that is usually pretty affordable, but a great yeah. solution to, to handle something around the house. Right. In this case, or wherever you go. Uh, this comes to us from our good friends at Bell & Howell. This is our high-performance, what we call a TAC bat, tactical bat, uh, defender flashlight. Defender flashlight. And we're going to talk about all those different levels that this helps you out right. but but let me tell you this thing is taking the world by storm yes literally you, this thing is vir it's virtually indestructible no it, re it really is well first of all it's this, nice look. I mean look at that so you know it's gonna work in extreme conditions and we'll show you all of this in further detail in a minute but I mean the big deal about this is that it is made out of aircraft grade aluminum okay so you're talking about something that is gonna be really really tough it's very very lightweight but what's unique about this first of all you can see clearly it looks like a, ba a baseball bat a right. Tiny little baseball bat here. And, and this is for self-defense purposes, okay? But also, at the end of this, we've got our TAC flashlight right there. Now this flashlight, that's the high setting. Then there's the medium, there's the low. There's a strobe setting right there to disorient attackers. And then there's the SOS that it taps out as well. Yeah. This, if you look at the uh, the bulb that's in there, that is, uses what's known as a uh, sur uh, surface device on board right there. So right. when you look at that surface mount device, SMD LED that's inside of this, it's a tiny little computer chip. So this actually sips power when you use this, but it puts out a tremendous amount of light. Now, all the functions on this are controlled from back here, okay? There's a little switch on the back of this. So the reason they do that is, and with a lot of tactical flashlights, you'll see that, is so that you can operate it while holding it in your hand like that, in a fist, and you press the button like that, and every time I'm pressing that with my thumb, it's changing the setting that's yeah. going on here, okay? Now, of course, with this, uh, you can see that since it is made to look like a bat, this is great if you're taking walks at night, if you're walking sure. the dog, you're doing anything yeah. like that. Like, a, like an well. officer's baton is like essentially what it is. Baton, yeah. And, you know, we, we, we were talking about it a little bit ahead of time, and obviously, you know, we don't sell weapons here, but what, right. we're, what we're telling you is this is a really good thing to have. It's very, he it, it's got a real good heavy duty weight to it. It's got some heft to it. Not so heavy that you won't be able to carry it, right. but, but it is, you know, this thing is uh, incredible quality. It's made to last forever, yeah. uh, and it probably will. But when you're out at night, you know, and it could be just while we said walking the dog, whether you're a guy or a gal or you're young or old, it's kind of nice to have something like this in your hand. Uh, it's got a little uh, a little loop on it, so you little can sort lanyard of on the back there. So, you, yeah, so you're not going to drop. So you know, it. and you know this, you know, that's that's the the old like the old police baton. Right. But this has all those other features built in. You never know when you're going to need this. You, I mean, heck, even in your car, yeah. you try to get out of the window, whatever you can see. It's great for that. With this. If you get into yeah. a car accident and you have to break yep. out your passenger driver's side window, you can do that. This does come with, by the way, a lifetime warranty. Gotta okay, so this. we're talking about something that, you know, they manufacture guarantees. Now, w watch this video for a second, because there's some really neat features on this. The light that's in this is a zoom light. So you can actually go from a full floodlight into a wow. spotlight 
just by extending the end of this, and I'll show you that in just a second, but you can really see how clear the light is that comes off of this. Look I at mean, that. Yeah, isn't that amazing? Now yeah. watch this right here. That's zoomed in all the way, and it's really interesting. That's actually the surface of the SMD LED you can oh, see there. Oh, that's a spotlight that, yep. that you can Look at that. in. The whole house sealing the wow. floor. So, and there it is sitting on the hood of the car with that strobe feature. It's a great signal device in that respect as well. Very visible from a very long distance away. We're going to bring the lights down because I want to show everybody yeah, on the back let's do wall it. over how here. How it works. Okay. Yeah, I want to show you this aspect of it. Okay, so watch this. I'm going to turn this guy on right here, and you can see. Now look at the large area that that's lighting up on the wall behind us, and I can zoom this in to get that tiny spot right there, or we come all the way out. There's Guy. There I am. As you can see him, there's Guy right there, and there's his shirt. Right. Look at so, that. So when you need to focus, because and, and remember, our, our uh, cameras are meant to filter out certain light, so that's why you can't it really see much. It looks a little bluish much. in here, yeah. This is as bright as it could possibly be, but when you focus it in, and you're going to want to do that. You know, if you're in your house and somebody's sneaking around in your yard, oh, yeah. and you want to be able to see them, well, and you want to get, get a look at their face, yep. then you focus that light in, and it's, I'll tell you, it's amazing. It takes about three minutes for people to get this, and yep. all of a sudden they realize, this is like having a policeman's light. I mean, no, this it really is. Like is. A, this is like a military quality type of light. I mean, that's why we give you a lifetime warranty. In right, no, exactly. And what's interesting yeah. about this light, too, is that when you when you look at this circle that it puts out, and we're just standing maybe 20 feet away from that wall, yeah. but the circle is easily 30 feet high in the air that this right. is making. So, like, for instance, my whole backyard gets lit up by this when I have it in the full flood feature where it's all the way out. And, right. and by the way, all I was doing to zoom it is I'm just pulling the end See, like yeah, that. that's awesome. See that right there? You just pull the end like that, and, that and that's focuses what focuses the light. So if I showed it the camera, see how it does that? That's how that so light cool. focuses in. Now, notice we've got it in the ice right here. So if you live in extreme temperatures, you know, this is frozen. This has been in yeah. here for about over an hour. Look it's really cold. When you look at that, yeah. that's been sitting in this there for a really long cold. time. I mean, you know, this is that heavy-duty aluminum grade. Yeah. Uh, it's amazing stuff. So, uh, but even as cold, it's, you can barely touch it. It's that well, cold. We've left this. it in the freezer. Watch this, though. If I put it in the water, 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5. We pull it out. You can see right there. Yeah, that's, that's still amazing. working. So you can submerge this as well. It's going to be water resistant. Now, the last thing I want to show you with this, though, and this is actually kind of neat, is if you come over here, i got this little wood block right here, okay? I'm trying to get this one off. There we go. Watch what I'm going to do here. I am going to take a flashlight right here. You can use a hammer. Yeah, why not? Why wouldn't I? <laughs> so you can drive nails in, and that light's still going to work. Yeah. Even, I mean, I can do it. I'll do another one right here. Look how easy this is to do. So you know you're talking about something tough. And because that's that SMD LED that's on the end right there, it's not going to be um, the kind of bulb, like an uh, uh, incandescent bulb, that breaks right. when it gets jarred. Right. This bulb is not going to uh, break ever. It doesn't get hot. It doesn't draw no. a lot of power. I want to show you how bright it is, though, using a little uh, science. Let me, let me remind here. everybody okay. before we get to that, because we've got about five or six minutes left. We're getting extremely busy of the colors that we have available. So it comes in that great purple. It comes in that uh, copper color. comes in blue, black, or red. Uh, whoever buys this, remember, you're going to get a lifetime a warranty. Talk to your sales reps if you have any questions about that. But they stand behind this product. The manufacturer is like, listen, we built this thing to last forever. It will last you forever. Think about this when you're taking your, uh, your dog for a walk, or maybe you're just Absolutely. walking your kids in the afternoon. Especially, you know, not only that, and not only, you know, if you ever had to defend yourself against an attacker or an intruder, but even other, you know, another animal, another yeah. dog or whatever yeah. comes up and attacks your dog. Exactly. You at least have a way to fend off whatever it is that's coming at you. Right, exactly. You hope it never happens. It'll probably never happen, but boy, it sure is nice when you got something to help. Yeah, and this right? is a great addition to have in your emerging, emergency preparedness kit, to have in your uh, blackout kit, you know, anything like that that you keep around the house. And and you know what? It, you know, it used to be you have to have a flashlight that's this big. You know, yeah. if you wanted something yeah. that was going to have all the features that this one has, this doesn't even have the zoom feature. Plus, this is an incandescent bulb. Our bulb is 40 times brighter than any incandescent bulb. I mean, look at that right there. And I can show you, and if I turn this guy Amazing. on, look at the difference. And then I can zoom ours in, and you can see clearly much, much brighter. Now, to show you that in a pr very practical way, though, we actually have a light meter here on the table, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you when you look at this light meter, this is, let's do apples to apples, this yeah. is an LED flashlight. And if you look at this, it has three LEDs built into it. Now, the technology in these LEDs was like state of the art like a year ago, okay? And if you look at that, you can see that the bulbs in that clearly sure. are working, okay? So I'm gonna take, just randomly take one of our lights here, okay? So that one's on. Now watch this. The light meter is showing us how much ambient light's in the studio right now, it's five lumens, all right? I'm gonna take this light with three LEDs, and it's getting up there around, uh, you know, depending on how I'm holding it, around 100, 110. Sure. All right? Now I'm going to take the tack light. I'm going to put that in the same place. Now watch. Watch this, what happens. When I go to the full power on this, 
right? And I zoom in. I want you to see. It's wow. up close to a thousand. I'm gonna put this one in the exact same spot, take the tack light out. We're down around 50, come in with the tack light again, same spot, look at that. Up that around a awesome. thousand. And wow, the reason Luke. we can do that is because we have that zoom feature on this that really takes the light that's coming out of the tack light and focuses it down. I mean, look yeah. at that, I'm blinding the camera when I do that. It focuses that light all the way down. And that's because the lens on this was made by Bell & Howell. Yeah. Bell & Howell, as we know, been around 110 years, Great have company. been making projectors for over a century, yeah. okay? That's why can they can make I, great lenses. I can't imagine a better light for camping, for boating, for fishing, for going out at night, for going out with your family. Oh, yeah. Uh, taking this out for Halloween. You know, Halloween's gonna be coming up pretty soon. It's always good to have a light like this, especially when you can put that blinking function on when cars are out there with your kids. Get these for your kids. Your kids can utilize these as well. Uh, they can, uh, you know, your kids that are driving can have one of these, and it's great to keep this in the car. Fits right into the glove box, uh, into right into the, I would keep this by your bedside table. You never know when you're gonna need for that power right. failures things like that right this was built to last forever all right so if you're thinking about well how many i'm gonna have to keep buying flashlights you don't have to do that okay once in a while you replace the batteries in this thing that's all you need to do but remember uh this could be a, an honestly a lifesaver whether it's an emergency where you need light an emergency where you need to defend yourself and an emergency where you need to get out of something like a car exactly uh, or whatever it is or something frozen and you can't get out you need to be able to utilize this you never know when emergency is going to come along but it's those that are prepared that wind up getting out of those well things, that, and that's know? true and you see, you know, it, we see it in all the uh you know the survival shows right yeah, yeah yeah you give them one tool and that's the difference between life and death no so it's true people, right? it's true yeah yeah and, and this is really well made again this is made out of that aircraft grade aluminum so you know it's going to last a long time let's go back over there one more time i want to drive a couple more nails and just show everybody how that's incredibly crazy, tough though. this is i mean right over there you can see we've got it sitting in the ice over here, okay, and you know, this is, again, this has been in here for over an hour, all right? So that light is doing, you know, remarkably well in there. So you know that it's gonna be good for those kinds of extremes. And if I take this, ha the, um, I'm just gonna call it a hammer. If you take the flashlight, she called the hammer <laughs> the light. Hammer the light. hammer light. We can drive that nail with it very easily, and that yeah, light still works. You know what I mean? And you that's the I, amazing you thing. You saw what I call it, right? What did I call it? What'd you call it? No, what'd you call it? The, the equalizer. The, oh, I was gonna, I thought you were gonna call it. It's the equalizer. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Well, hey, listen, if you're a small, diminutive person, and you're walking your dog, and some punk or whatever comes up and bothers you, or, uh, heaven forbid, tries to attack you in any way, right. you know, I, this is this is gonna hurt a little bit more than the back of a hand, if you know what I'm saying. This is, this is really going to do what you needed to do you know when we came out we talked about this they're like you know don't make a big deal about that stuff yeah, yeah, like, yeah. which we don't we're not you know we're not selling weapons here we're selling you a no. great light that is it could be a lifesaver just on its own for the light for the it's light. multifunctional yeah you get it's stuck in your car on a snowy night because we yeah. know winter will be here before you know it and if your car gets stuck somewhere goes down a bank and all you have is a light that can do that yeah from the snowbank guess what <laughs> I mean, look at what this is doing right here, okay? That is enough to warn uh, to warn anybody or to get attention. Yeah, it's disorienting when you do that to somebody. Yeah, look at when that. They look see, at when they look see what it does to the camera. I mean, it messes the It's disorienting. Well, look at the water. Even in the water yeah. down here, you can see the way it's flashing in the water there. It's making the whole tank turn, yeah. you know, light, light up. Um, and, and that's just because it's such a bright light. That's the thing about these surface mount device LEDs that they put in these. Even though yeah. if I turn this off and you look inside the lens there, even though there's just one inside of that, you can see right there. There it is. It looks like a little tiny chip, a little circuit chip right there. But that puts out a tremendous amount of light, and that's where all your LED technology is going now. All right, we are almost out of time. We have about 10 or 12 seconds left. Remember, uh, not too early to start thinking about gift stuff. You know, I, I'm uh, telling yeah. you, you get through the summer, and all of a sudden you're like, you know, that holiday's going to be here before you know it. Great stocking stuffers. This is only $17.95 with a lifetime warranty, Lou, and free shipping and handling. I think they even put it on FlexBay. They did. So it's $8. I think that says a 98 cents. So grab one of these or two of these or three of these. Remember, we just still have it in the colors. It comes in purple, copper, blue, black, or red. We'll have it shipped out to you. You're going to absolutely love it. It's nice to know that you got something that can bail you out of the worst situation. That's true. Doesn't take up a lot of room. And it's good to go. All right, this hour is all about great stuff from Lou Caputo. We're going to uh, shift gears here. and We're going to talk about more cool stuff. But first, yes. let's check in with the lovely Valerie and see what she's got going on. 
All right, well, yep. that's a really good deal. And because the seasons are changing, our prices are falling. And you can see all of our fall prices on something that we call our hot items, which is kind of our fab finds, our best deals. It's our top sellers. And so you just want to put in hot items of the day. And there it is. They'll all pop up. And we've got the Nutribullet, which is amazing because it's even more improved. That cyclonic action, 1,200 watts of power. It's a 12-piece set, and it does come with the recipe book. Huge customer pick, and it's on flex. Pay. So less than $25 to get home. That's how you extract all those nutrients and really just whip through getting your smoothies, your soups, maybe it's your dressings, um, your desserts. So it's a great way to get all of those nutrients extracted. It is on flex pay and free shipping and handling. So our hot items is definitely the first place you should look when you're shopping on hsn.com. It's really easy to do. You just go to hsn.com, put in hot items, you'll find out what those great deals are. And it is a perfect day to start shopping for maybe getting your uh, favorite gifts for yourself or other people. And I know that Guy and Lou are standing by because they've got, they've got more stuff for you this morning. Valerie, yes, we do. And really, you know, when Lou's here, you know you're going to get some cool stuff. You're going to get stuff that you really need. And I will tell you, uh, is there anybody left in the world that doesn't have a cell phone? Probably not. I know our children do, our grandparents do. Everybody has a cell phone. Uh, sometimes we have more than one. Our families usually do. So what Lou is offering from Bell & Howell is what we call the Clever Grip. I love this product. Use it all the time. What this does is exactly what it says. It's a clever way to grip your phone, cell phone. Works right. with virtually, virtually every phone out there. Yep. Uh, it expands and contracts with a little spring. Uh, loaded mechanism inside there to keep your phone where it needs to be in your car so it does not fly around going to the seat. If you ever have that thing, you know, I gotta tell you, twice in my life, lost my phone, no idea. Yeah. I, I, you know, and, and I was like, what the heck? What? Under the, it goes in a little crack in the seat. car. And it was yeah. in the car. Yeah. One time it happened to me up in Vermont. I actually got in a fight with one with a girlfriend I had because she's like, "Where's your?" You know, I was I was so upset because I lost my phone. <laughs> it was a big deal. And we looked in every restaurant we went to. All oh, this stuff because no. she didn't have a phone. This is back right. in the day. I right. had a phone. We had one phone, so right. we couldn't call it. Right. Like you can uh, now. <laughs> right. And literally uh, hours went by, and then finally flashlight under the seat. Oh, right. look, there it is. And it was a flip phone, by the way. So it was only about that well, big. This is a great way to keep an eye on your phone. Given what phones cost these days, yes. okay, it only makes sense to keep them as safe as possible, okay? Right. And this is a device that is going to help you be a better driver, a safer driver, and it's going to keep your phone safe as well. It, it's called the Clever Grip, and if you look at this, it's, it's a very simple device, but it's actually kind of ingenious. It has these soft rubber grips on the sides right here, and the mouth of this expands to open and fit the largest cell phone that is possibly available on the market right now, okay? The way you use it is you attach it with these little rubber fins to the AC outlet on your car, to your, to your air conditioning vent. Yeah. yeah, to your vents. Very, very simple to do. And if you look at the uh, display in front of me right here, we have a variety of different phones and devices um, in all different shapes of vents, round <laughs> vents, square vents, all different kinds. But I mean, you know, we're talking about Apple phones, we're talking about your Android phones. We even got a Blackberry going back in time here, yeah, like we GPS. stepped in the time machine. Uh, we've got a GPS down here. I mean, so everything fits here, but the cool thing about about it is you can change the orientation on it just like that so like let's say you're listening to music and you like to have your phone that way and you're using the Bluetooth and you're you know, so you don't have to hold it in your hand and select things right okay you can see everything right here but then you can turn it sideways maybe when you're using your GPS and then Mac function on that and if I want to take it out all I do is pull it off like that when I'm not using it yeah. and then to put it in I just pick out where I want to put it line it up right there and push and it just goes right onto the vent it's really really simple to it takes, do it makes double duty out of the yeah. vents right and, and by the way, uh, it still allows you to slide it over so that you can still get air coming out of the vent. Right. Uh, so you don't have to worry about that as well. Uh, when we, uh, the uh, configuration we're giving you today is three of these. So for $19.95, and they dropped the price, fall pricing, which means it's not going to last forever. It's just going to last for another month or so. Uh, we took five bucks off. Um, it's $19.95, so only about six or seven dollars per unit. And the shipping is just flat rate, uh, three bucks. So you'll get this home for about $23, $24, $25 with tax. Um, you get all three of these and you have your choice of colors. They come in red, it comes in purple, it comes in, is that, are we calling that blue or black? Gold and silver. Gold and silver, what's this silver one right here? Gold. That's black. That is black, okay. Or is it gray? Kyle, which it's one is it? It's kind of like a slate gray, dark, they're calling it black. black. All right, and remember, uh, each one of these, uh, as we said, is expandable, so that's how it opens up. I'll hold it down. That's how it opens up for your phone. So all you do is you- yep, uh, slide you it in there. Figure out there, and this is, see how this is uh, made so that it'll wedge uh, onto and clamp onto one of the vent, little vent areas. Areas. Right. And so then you just face it to you and you just turn it. And because it can turn, 
you can situate that phone any way that you want. So, you know, if you want it facing towards you, if you want yeah. it facing toward the passenger, whatever it is, or, and, and what a lot of people do is they get two because <clears throat> you have one for the driver and one for the passenger. Right. Exactly. Right? Well, and I want you to see this. Look how firmly yeah, really that strong. is mounted in there. Okay. And that's yep. a full size Android phone in here. Okay. And you can just see the way I'm shaking that up and down. That's not going to come out of there. That's confidence right there. The fact that that's a phone that I wouldn't want to sure. break because it's like seven, eight hundred dollars. And then if I want to change the orientation, all I'm going to do is just that. Really, really simple to do. It just changes that orientation from side to side very quickly and easily. Now, there is one trick you can do with this, all right? And imagine this, okay? And I don't know if you've ever done this, but when you go out of town and you rent a car, they always try to sell you a GPS, okay? Or rent you a GPS, okay? So, uh, you know, oh, everybody's cell phone has a map program in it right now. We all have GPS built into ours. So what you can do is bring your Clever Grip with you so you can mount this in your vehicle. Mm -hmm. But before you even get there on the plane, if you want to watch a movie, watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn this sideways like this. Take a credit card, take a room key, anything like that. You can put it in there, mm -hmm. and it's going to hold the phone. It becomes a little stand, and it holds that phone up for you. So now you can watch movies on the tray table on the yeah. plane, give it to the kids for the back of the car, that kind of thing. Or if you're sitting at your desk and you want to sit there and sure. you want to monitor what's going on your phone, look at your text messages and stuff in the that's office. Awesome. Look at that right there. Isn't that cool? See, that would be, that's just a normal way to, to have your phone on your desk. I know. Right? Because otherwise you try to Every leave day. it on something and it always falls. Slide so, down. So this is a great way to be able to sort of like, you know, if you're doing FaceTime or whatever it is, exactly. or video conferencing, you can have that and you can set it up right near your desk just by using a little ordinary credit card. Even your, like our ID badges would work here oh, absolutely. at HSN. So when you get this, you remember you order one and you get three. Choice of color. Uh, we have it in black and red and purple, gold and silver. Uh, it quickly connects to um, pretty much any vent of any vehicle. Uh, and we just say vents, but anything that is thin enough to wedge in that little area, you can oh, yeah. put this on. So we talked about the credit card or wherever else you want to be able to put it. Um, there's no more fumbling no more you're uh, having your phone fall down into the crack uh, or the cracks of your seat which nobody likes nope. um, so uh, it adapts to any smartphone it expands you get like an extra inch and a half of, ex of expansion on this so even if you have the seven or one of the bigger phones oh, the biggest big phone on the market Samsung will fit inside there, of this yeah you should be absolutely fine um, and by the way not all these are created equal when you look at these um, if you look for Bell and Howell because it's made well there are yeah. cheaper ones that you see in the market where you'll get one and it's ten dollars and it's not the same, and and because um, I've tried them, and they don't hold the phone uh, the same way; they they fall well, off. Listen to this now. Now it, it, it seems silly, but listen to the squeaking on this. And the reason it's going to squeak is because it's metal. Okay, there's yeah. a metal there's it's a tight. metal spring inside of this, so it's not plastic inside of this. It's not something that's going to break apart. I've had one that I've carried with me now for a couple of years in my uh, vehicles. Uh, each one has one now. At first, I didn't. Okay, and what happened with that was that I went down to Miami one time, and I don't know Miami all that well, and I was driving around down there and I forgot to bring this to me with me so guess what I was doing I had my phone in my hand and I was driving with one hand on the wheel and I had the phone over here like this so that I could look at my GPS I could follow the map program that's not safe okay that's why you want to bring your a clever grip with you no matter where you go and then you can mount it right there and the other thing too is that it keeps everything right at eyes level yeah. so that you're just glancing at it okay you know it makes you because, safer driver well, right where do you keep where do you keep your phone otherwise in your cup holder you know what I mean I like hold it right console? in front while I'm driving right, exactly <laughs> It's not, it's not a good idea. You don't do that. The way, right. it, this holds it. Now, if you think about it, your air conditioning vents are roughly at the same height as like your speedometer, your tachometer, sure. all the gauges that you're going to supposed to glance at anyway. So you can glance down. It's right at that level, just below the dashboard, yeah. and then you look back up again. And the problem is that in a lot of states, you can't put things on your windshield. All right. So, so the suction right. cup, uh, suction cup mount uh, devices aren't a great idea. For one thing, in the sun they fall off. Yeah, For another they thing, block your vision. They block your vision. Yeah. It's against, in Florida, it's against the law to have something like that mounted to your windshield you're right. not supposed to do that okay but you can have your clever grip in the car on that air conditioning vent and by the way if you're a parent if you're a grandparent an aunt and uncle you got kids that are just starting to drive get them one of these okay because you know they're going to play their music off of their phone okay don't have them looking yeah. down into the cup holder at their hands have them looking in a safe direction i mean right. that's that's the well, big deal listen in many states it's illegal to use your cell phone in the car right you have to go uh, hands free yeah I, I was just up in connecticut and if you got a cell phone in your hand you're you're gonna get trouble. pulled over. You are gonna get, uh, and I always forget that when I get there. And Danny's always like, "Dad, put the phone down." Yeah, There's yeah. A yeah. Cop over there, I'm like, "Oh, you that drop." It's like, <laughs> but, uh, but honestly, it, 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 and Lou really made a, a good analogy there. It's just like one of your other gauges. So if you're using it for GPS, or if, even if you're video, you know, get somebody on the phone, you're FaceTiming somebody, and you're yeah. driving, which is, you know, just fine. You know, you're watching the road as long as you're being safe. You can, yeah. you know, and, and it's legal where you are. That's fine. But you know, they uh, realistically for and, and for your kids, you should tell them, listen, 
I never want to see that phone in your hand Absolutely while you're not. driving your car ever. Right. It goes on the yeah. clever grip. You leave it there. You know, if, if somebody calls you and you can answer it without having to do anything, without having to hold it and press buttons, because yeah. that's what makes you, you know what I like? You know what I really like about it is like when I'm sitting at a traffic light yeah. and I want to look at my phone because maybe I got a text message while I was driving. So one, I'm stopped. I want to look at it. It's at a level where I can look at it, and if the light turns green, I can still see the light. You know what I'm saying? I'm not yeah. looking down. I'm not looking down. I hate when people do that. I'm not looking down like this. I'm looking up, and I can see it right there, and all I'm doing is glancing at it. That just makes it so much easier, so much safer. It's better for the phone because it protects it. And this thing is so tiny and compact yeah. that you, unlike some things that are like bean bags and the big suction cups and things that, know. you know, they're just too bulky. It's minimal. You could put this in your pocket, in your purse, you know, carry it, your briefcase, take this with you when you travel, anywhere where you go and we showed you that cool trick right here it's actually a funny thing my wife has got the biggest iphone in the world you know the big big one that you yeah, can buy yeah, yeah. and she will do this for recipes sure. like she'll have a recipe a on idea. here and just stand it up on the kitchen counter so that she can sit there yeah. like um, get something off pinterest a lot, and read of, it right there. a lot of people it's use smart. it for different reasons let's say hi to sharon she's oh, yeah. out in michigan Sweet. and okay. we'll see uh sharon i think just ordered it hi sharon welcome into hsn hi how are you wonderful great. my dear did you just did you just order today I did. So tell me what you what you're gonna use it for. You're gonna use it for yourself. You're gonna because you get three of them. What are you gonna do? Yeah. Well, one, two are gonna go in our front seat. One in our back seat. Okay. Um, this is totally gonna free up my cup holders. <laughs> yeah. Normally where my phone sits. I yeah, forgot about that. Road trip, yeah. We can. Where Lou puts his coffee. And still have our cup. <laughs> That's a really good idea because I, you know what, you're, you're so funny you said that. I used to do the same thing. I just put my phone in there yeah. and then I would forget yep. it. And I don't even, and I would always find I forget my phone when I leave it there too. And I'll come into work and I'll be like, oh, my phone. Cause yeah, I looked in the car. Cup holder. But if it's sitting there right in your face, you yeah, won't you forget it. it. And uh, I yeah, I think you're going to love it. It's a great idea and I think it's a great value to get three. Sharon, thanks for calling. Thank you. Have thanks, a Sharon. wonderful day. You too. Bye-bye. How, how sweet Sharon calls. So, you know what? That's a good point, though. And yeah. one, th one thing I forgot about, if you've got the air conditioning vents in the back, and I think this is where she was going with that whole thing yeah. about having one in the back seat, for the kids to watch movies. <laughs> yeah. You know, like I have AC right. vents in the back of my truck. Just put this, boom, right back there, and right. they've got their own if, little if screen. You don't, if, you didn't have the, if you didn't have the foresight to get that big DVD player built into right. the back of your, right. of your SUV, you can actually create your own uh, just by utilizing these. Okay, yeah. so you get a three-pack of these for less than $20. Okay, my pick of the hour, and I have this, and I told Lou, uh, this is one oh, of my favorite this. things that I've gotten from AC. Just said it's called the bionic hose this thing is amazing uh, i'll talk to you about the testing and everything else look at how we tied it in knots nothing will stop the flow of that water it is a stainless steel hose when you see how it was designed it'll never kink it's compact it's totally portable and i will tell you if you want the 100 foot which i bought you better be ordering right now because these things sell out every time do not get one of those hoses that can get damaged by weather by the sun that gets kinks and cracks you probably never have to replace this hose Again, I love the fact that Lou got me one of these, and let me tell you, I'm, I would never go back. <laughs> right? I love, once you try the Bionic hose, you've had the Bionic hose, you will never go back to a regular uh, rubberized right. uh, or galvanized uh, garden hose. It's amazing. All right, so uh, again, so many cool products that Lou is bringing us today. This is today. a great idea. This one is one of the smartest ones to come down the road in a long time. This is called Zaplite. And what you're going to get is you're going to get two of the Zaplite bug zappers. What it does is it turns any outlet into an automatic bug light. So if you got the little gnats or the little skeeters or little flies, whatever it is, fly. yeah. they're going to go up there. They're going to get quietly and easily zapped. And each one of these bulbs will protect about 500 square feet without any sprays, area. any chemicals. Right. You just plug it in. Just use it like a regular I light bulb. Got it. I love these things. Yeah, this is the funny thing too. My my wife, when she found out I was selling this day, she's like, I love that bulb because we have one in our house. Yeah. Is there anything more annoying than be lying in bed and hearing that little <laughs> in yeah. your ear? When you're in your house. In your house, yeah. inside your house, okay? With the zap light, those days are gonna be gone, okay? Because this looks like a regular light bulb. And if you look at this bulb right now, when I say it looks like a regular light bulb, when it's in a shade like this, okay? It's a regular light. It looks like a regular light. So when you yeah. look at this, you would never know that this is not a regular light bulb. But if I take the top off, look. you can see right there that it's actually the zap light. Now what's neat about this is, it has LED bulbs in the top, and these are the super 100,000 hour long lasting sure, LED bulbs forever. in the top. Yeah, very nice color temperature to these as well, about 3,500 Kelvin. So they're really, 
nice warm lights that come off of here. And then down here, there's the cage that zaps the bugs, and there's little purple or blue LEDs down at the bottom right there. Now, this is a 60 watt bulb that puts out 600 lumens of light up here, but where the zapper part of this is, okay, these are actually bulbs that are at a specific frequency that's like candy to flying insects. Right. 635 nanometers is what it is, the specific wavelength, and that's what attracts them. Now, watch what I'm going to do here. I actually have a little switch down here. I just turn the light off. If I turn it on again, right, watch this. Now I just have the bug zapper feature on. So at night, when you're going to sleep, you don't want the light bulb on that 600 lumens of light. You don't want that. You can just have the zapper or flick it on and off again, and now you get both working. Oh or you can have everything off. So and, and by the way, when it's on at night, and, and if you just, just put the purple light on, Lou. You want just the purple? Yeah, and go. then put the shade on. Yeah. And you'll see. Oh, watch this. Uh, you won't even notice. You don't even know it's on. You don't even know it's yeah, there. It doesn't give off you any. You don't even know it's there. It doesn't give off any no. noticeable light. And it doesn't make any sound so, at all. You don't hear anything. So no more, because that's happened to me before, where you're sleeping and you yeah. hear that little mosquito. Oh. And it's zipping around your ear, and you're like, I'm yeah. going to get bitten 15 times tonight. <laughs> and I know, While ladies, you, you, especially you, you hate that. Right. You know, I, 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 I can't tell you how many girls I've known and it's like I wake up in the morning and I have three mosquito bites on my leg where'd that come from yeah. it's one mosquito getting in your room and if it's not drawn to this it's going to be drawn to that carbon uh, dioxide gas that uh, you know that, that you're breathing that you're breathing and right. giving off or whatever it is they're going to they're going to come after you because it's that you know they can smell it on your body this will help to mask that oh, yeah. and and, well, and look at it, it's a regular light and you're getting two of them when you buy this wow. today so it's a two pack of bulbs again they're going to replace your regular light bulbs and by the way you can use these in can lights you can use these on a porch light you can use these anywhere that you want yeah, to outside right outside indoors outdoors you can replace your floodlights outside with these any place you want to use them in your pool deck they, that, to me that's one of the craziest things is we put these cages around our pool decks to keep things out but once yeah. they get in there they're trapped right. so you've got you mosquitoes and flies and things inside of there this is going to take care of those as well and I'll tell you what you but when you're getting two of them put one inside put one outside remember they each one is good for 500 square feet which is a large area and wait a week and see what you get inside of these and that's why we give these little brushes with it because yeah. when you see what gets trapped inside of these, the bugs that are going to be in there. You want to tap them out. What I usually do is I just take it. Yeah, since it's an LED right. bulb, you can't hurt it. So I'll take it. I'll just tap it like that to get stuff out. If there's anything stuck in there, I'll use the brush in there. Oh, that's awesome. But now, we're, one thing I want to show you, too, is that I'm, I'm using a switch on the back of the table here to turn this light on and off, okay? You can use a wall switch. You can use this little switch on the front right here and just do that. See how that works? It goes through its commands. It goes through all yeah. the commands right there. So every time I, you know, it'll go, there's the blue, it'll go off, then everything comes on. So it's up to you. If you want to have just the zap feature on, you can. If you want to have everything on, you can do that as well. Nice bright light though. Yeah, it's and again, not hot. I mean, how many, you know, just replace one can light in your kitchen and any flies that come in there are going to be history. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just yep. one of your PAR lights in there. I mean, that's the beautiful thing about this. Put it on your bedside tables because again, it does throw off 600 lumens of light, which is very, very bright and it only uses well, 60 watts of power and, and realistically remember you probably only need one in an average side room so yeah. you could put one in your living room you could put one in your Here, bedroom this. Uh, and this is exactly the technology and Lou will explain how it works yeah those now that's that blue light I was talking about at that wavelength of 635 nanometers which is like candy to these flying insects they want to be you know right up a, uh, next to that light and what happens when they get there is they get zapped by the cage that's inside of this and you can use this outdoors look at this right here you can put it in your porch light you can put it out in the lights on the sides of your garage in your backyard. You can put it indoors. I mean, that's the unique thing about this, too, is that we've all tried other methods to get rid of bugs uh, inside and out, and they all have, you know, their pluses and minuses, to be sure, but this is a method that isn't toxic. I mean, we've all tried bug zappers, but usually the bug zappers look like this, and it's got this yeah. big cord. You're not going to be using this indoors. I, I hope you're not putting this on your bed. I don't think I want that next to my bed, Lou. No, nobody wants this next to their bed. That'd you know, be weird. we got the sprays here, but these things, I don't know about you, but whenever I spray, like, mosquito <laughs> spray or gnat spray, you had somebody over and you had one of those in your room, they'd probably exactly. be like, here. what's going on here? You, you want to use this? <laughs> oh, Why do no. you have this in your room? You know, well, obviously, you'd never do that. Oh, and these are toxic. We got, we got, the, we got the smelly candles. We get yeah. these little bands that only work on you. They're not going to work on the other people in the room with you. Right, so, right. I mean, that's why these bulbs. And then, have you ever used one of these things? 
You worked in the restaurant industry. You've seen oh, these I, before. I, you know, let me tell you something. I was a lifeguard back in the day. Yeah, these sticky I got things. one of those stuck on my face. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> I walked in, then took a I right. Mean, I was like, what? And they're that. covered in flies and right. the nastiest thing Oh, they're, of they're all horrible. Time. They're yeah. horrible. And then you get these things. And, you know, the, Terrible. these fly swatters. You better be darn quick if you're going to catch a fly with right. one of these things. This does it passively. You don't have to do anything. All you've got to do is replace a light bulb with the zap light, yeah. and it starts working, drawing those insects. And right there, look at that in the kitchen. Yeah. How easy is that and, to do? And one of the very few systems that works indoors that uses this technology. Exactly. Normally when we talk about zapping, we're thinking exterior and you put one out on your porch and you know, you sit there and you enjoy your evening and you laugh well, every time a moth gets fried out there and you're right. just, you know, which is weird. Uh, but what's nice <laughs> about this is you can utilize it outside. You know, you're not going to hear it's a very, very minimal little charge enough to get rid of the gnats and flies and bugs. Right. But nothing that you're going to have to think about. Exactly. Um, and, and it's literally, you plug it in. There, there's no real maintenance once in a while, you tap it out uh, if it's indoors, and all you'll see is a bunch of little old mosquitoes that would have been feasting on you all night. Yep. And instead of doing that, they wind up in here. I love the fact, too, that you have the choice of, of activating it or deactivating it or just using yeah, the bug again. light. Um, and right now, we have it on full out. Yeah, watch. If, so. I, if I turn the switch, there's off. There's just the zap feature right there, the bug lights. And then if I turn it, it goes off again, and then it's on with everything. And you can work that from a light switch. You can work that same feature from, you know, uh, an outlet uh, switch or whatever yeah. you've got right there. I mean, look how easy that is to do. And again, the light that comes out of this, it's a 60-watt bulb. These are going to last 100,000 hours. The LEDs up here, it puts out 600 lumens of power. Then you've got those blue LEDs at the bottom right there that attract in the bugs. And this is going to be for mosquitoes. It's going to be for gnats. It's going to be for noceums, flies. Flies, black flies, deer flies, anything yeah. that flies, they love that particular shade of light, that particular hue, that wavelength, and that's what draws them in to get zapped. 100,000 hours, you said? 100,000 hours right, on so, the LEDs. So if you used it three hours a day, that'd be 1,000 a year. That'd oh, be 100 years. It's years. Lou, <laughs> it's years. It's 100 years. Yeah, and I actually have one of these out in my backyard now, and I've got yeah. one indoors in our living room. Yeah. And I'm telling you, you, we wait a week or two, and then we look at them and see what's inside of it. And it's amazing it collects, how yeah. much it's actually getting. It's sends that signal out and it tr attracts them in. And remember, if they're attracted to that, which is stronger than the signal that you're yeah, giving yeah, there's off, that purple. right? Then the bugs are gonna bypass you and they're gonna go for this. And I, I'm all about that. It's one thing I, I have no affinity for whatsoever, you know, is, is any kind of a bug. Nobody wants to live with them. Nope. I don't need, you know, I don't need to, to, to destroy the entire population. I just don't want them in my house. This is really, really good animation, by the way. Yeah, this is great. I, I, these guys get an A watch plus this. for this. Cause and boom. watch that, yeah. And he's gone. See ya. And, and here's the thing. You're getting two, so you can do one in the bedroom, one in the living room. You can sure. do one indoors, one outdoors. Remember, each one of these is 500, will cover an area of 500 square feet. So you're talking about 1,000 square feet. My whole house is like 1,500, okay? So this is going to be perfect to use anywhere you need to. And you know, the other thing too is that once you get them in a shade like I have over here, nobody's gonna know that you've got a zapper in there except you. And you're gonna feel better knowing you're not hearing that little buzzing sound in your ears. You're not gonna yeah. see flies. I mean, we have two dogs. Every time I open and close the doors, something's coming in. Right, right. Something's and coming I, in. And I love house. your point that, uh, of like, because even if you have a screen porch, it's yeah. like, yeah, it's meant to cut out bugs, but if bugs get in there, they're stuck. Now now it's like a bird cage. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> no, it fly, is. They're flying all around they're in all, there. They're all, they got, the, all they want to do is get out, and you are keeping them in there, right. and you're providing food for them in, the, you. in your own you're body. You're the food. So what's nice about this, and it's such a smart little solution. And remember, we do it give is. you two for $29.95. You're going to have each one of these bulbs will probably last you, as we said, if you use them only a few hours a day, yep. that could last you 100 years. Yes. Now, if you're using it six, seven hours a day, that's 50 years. That's still a pretty good deal for two bulbs for $29.95. By the way, uh, Lou also brought these in with free shipping, and you can uh, only drop half the money up front to get these home and try them out. Try them for 30 days, see how it works. I'll guarantee those little mosquitoes, and that's my most, that's one of my big pet thieves, is when I'm inside my house watching TV, right. and I see a little fly, and I'm yeah. like, because it it's just annoys me because it'll it goes right in front of my field of vision because it's kind of coming after me and checking yeah, yeah, me out. Yeah, yeah, no, but if you have these lights in there, guess where the fly is going to be drawn? So either it gets trapped in there, or at least, or at least you can get it. Yeah, and you can find out where it's hanging out rather than wait every 20 minutes till it flies in front of your face. Uh, these have been hugely popular here at HSN. I only have about 1,500 sets of these. Hundreds have already been spoken for. So if you want one, we're just about out of time. We're gonna give you two. When you buy one, you get two. And remember, um, hours and hours and hours, 100,000 hours of use. They can't say that about regular light bulbs. And if you're gonna have a light bulb, <clears throat> like we said here on the lamp, 
Why not have the light bulb that not only gives off light, but also does double duty as a little bug, uh, bug zapper for you. It's absolutely brilliant. All right, we are gonna head outside because we have saved the very best in this show for last, which is the bionic hose. When you see this garden hose, I know you're looking at me, you're like, guy, it's a garden hose, what's so exciting? Wait till you see this thing. Danny and I wash our cars all the time. We love it, never gets kinked, it's perfect. Here's some information on Amon, it'll be here soon. We're gonna head outside. In a world full of trends, I remain a classic. Life is your runway. It's HSN's biggest and best Labor Day sale ever. Enjoy nine days of special pricing on some of your favorite brands like Curtis Stone, Minnetonka, and Origami. And don't miss these exclusive offers. Free shipping on fashion and accessories when you spend $99 or more. Plus, get an additional 50% off hundreds of items on hsn.com. Get great deals all week long with special buys every day. HSN's Labor Day sale starts Monday only on HSN. We love our gemstones to be beautiful, colorful, and durable. That's why we give some of them a little more love. Enhancements may require special care and may not be permanent, while others may last a lifetime. For more information, visit hsn.com and search Gemstone Guide to see our gemstone enhancement chart. Save something really special for the end of the show. I don't know how they create this or how they make this Look hose, this but I will tell you it's the most amazing garden hose you will ever find. Yes, Lou is using a saw, a wood saw, and he's cutting up. And look, yeah, 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 he'll cut that real easy, but I don't care how long you sit there, it'll never go through that. You nope. need a hacksaw to get through this thing, yeah. and you need about 30 minutes to get through. If you own the Bionic hose, please call us. I got one of these, you guys gave me one yep. about four or five months ago. Uh, and I will tell you, it might have even been longer than that. It's one of the greatest things we've gotten. I used to go through a garden hose every year. I, mean, and I don't care where you live up north. If, if you're if you don't have the foresight yep. to put them away in the winter, you know what happens when they come they out burst, in the summer. Yep. They burst. Yep. Uh, here in Florida, uh, well, <laughs> let me show you something really quick. And, I, and this is my this is my ID, my badge. Yes. Can you see? I left it on the I left it in my car in the sun yesterday <laughs> and look what the sun did to this i can't believe it didn't melt yes <laughs> this is what it did <laughs> i was like are you kidding me that is what the sunshine does here imagine what it does to these garden hoses you buy this hose it'll probably be the last hose you ever need to buy it is, it is unkinkable yep it is unbreakable you can run it over with a mac truck it won't hurt it true it is amazing already people are ordering a oh. bunch of these let me give them a heads up go get the hundred foot oh yeah, yeah. If, if, yeah. if you're guessing Absolutely. about how big Guess the longer one. And I'll show you why. I, 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 my actual hose bib is on the other side of my house, and when we wash our cars, I pull this thing out. Last thing I'll say, because I know you got a lot to talk about, easiest hose I've ever wound up on my right? windy thing. So much uh, lighter. Easiest thing. So much lighter. Yes. All right, let's go over some of the basics right away. First of all, this is stainless steel hose, okay? There's a, st a traditional hose on the inside, an expandable hose on the inside, but it's wound with all these stainless steel windings around it. If you've ever had a plumber look at your washer machine, you know, or your clothes washing machine and tell you that you need steel hoses, it's because they are prone to bursting. This will not burst, okay? If I take a standard hose and I do this, look how easy it is for me to kink, kink that it, yeah. and to stop the flow. If I take the bionic hose and as tight as I can squeeze that I can't get it to do that so you're never going to stop the flow of the water in this it's not going to kink you can't cut it and it's not ever going to um, get crushed so you've got those three different aspects right. of this now a lot of people used to buy those expandable hoses remember those we yeah, buy yeah, those yeah. expandable hoses okay and um, the reason we bought them is why because they were lightweight 
because they took up very, very little space, okay? And we thought they were going to be durable. Problem is that mine, all, to a one, they all burst. Yeah. Every time I would drag them across the concrete, they would get scraped up, they yeah. get cuts in them, okay? Because they got that vinyl-y material on the yes. outside. But yeah. so, so many of the things that you get with those, you get with these. For instance, these are very lightweight, okay? Take a look right over here at these two scales that we have, okay? Yeah. There's about a six pound difference between 100 feet of a standard rubber hose and 100 feet of bionic hose right here. Now, that doesn't sound like a lot until you're dragging this across the pavement and all of a sudden yeah. that, six, that six pounds makes a huge difference. But more than that even, forget about the weight difference, look at this. This is 100 feet of hose crazy. right here. This is yeah. bionic hose, 100 feet in a regular bucket. So if you live in an apartment, you uh, you have a boat, you live in an R, you know drive around in an RV. This is going to be perfect for you to store 100 feet of hose someplace. How, much, where you've how never many feet is that, Lou? 100. Yeah. So all right. Uh -oh. I'm not even, yeah. Let's try. Uh -oh. Look at. <laughs> All right, yeah, you're not even if even at, at, at its tightest roll on its best this day. This is never gonna go inside on its there. Best go ahead, day, that's Luke, never that gonna down. I, sure. I, as I just told you, that is my favorite feature. Yeah, is when you. I mean, I love the fact that it's lightweight because you, th you, oh, you yeah. think stainless steel is gonna be heavier than rubber. Right, but not the way they make it. Well, I want, almost when you think about like the tail of a rattlesnake and how it's layered. It's articulated. It's articulated. It's amazing. Look at that. And when I pull this hose out, I have to tell you, my, my neighbor Don over. across the street. Yep. Yeah, he always comes out and goes, I got to get myself one of them hoses. I'm like, Don, let me know, buddy. Yeah. Like, I got to get one. I can tell so you where to buy one. Spreads like, yeah, it's right down <laughs> all the time. Spreads like wildfire. Look at this. Now, you see this lady here. Look, you see how the kinks fix themselves? We tied it in five knots there. Five different knots. Isn't that amazing? And you still can't, you still can't hurt and it. And this is right here. That's the secret Man. behind this is that that's what I was talking about. That expandable hose on the inside with the windings of stainless steel around the outside. So, you know, this is something you could leave outside in so the summer. Cool, you Lou. can leave this out in the winter. Yeah. We've even frozen these and shown that the it's water. It's not going to rust. doesn't yeah. do any of them. I've, I've left Nothing. mine outside for six months and it's yep. rained like crazy here. Right. Nothing hurts it. And because it's steel, these are also rated to hold 600 PSI, yeah, all right, yeah, pounds yeah, per yeah. square inch of pressure. Your house only puts out 60. So this is actually 10 times higher rated than, than it needs yeah. to be. Now, look at these two hose reels we have right here because this is how most of us keep our hoses, okay? We wind them up on a reel like this. Now, this is 100 feet of a standard garden hose right there. And you can see we're barely fitting that on here and it's just a mess to reel that up. Look how beautiful and neat the bionic hose is, but yeah. also I like Lightweight. A lightweight, but I could also fit another 100 feet yeah, you could. on that same reel. Dad, oh, do me a favor. Roll this back and forth a little bit like this and then try that one. Okay. Okay, because now you feel how heavy that is, right? <laughs> That's a backbreaker. It, you know what else? It's not balanced because the hose, it's not balanced. that hose is like, it doesn't go on, it doesn't roll up Wherever evenly. the water is, that's where it's going to yeah, gather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now try that one. It's yeah. a joke, right? Oh my gosh. It's so lightweight. But here's this. the thing. Let's say you don't want to use these. Yeah, look how Amazing. easy this is to spin. Let's say you don't want to use these hose reels anymore. Guess what? If Let's say you've got a homeowners association. They say, no, you can't have your ugly hoses outside. Yeah. That's 100 feet of hose in a flower pot right in front of us right here. 100 feet of hose in a common flower pot. Now, we didn't do a great job of putting it in there, but... If you look at this, you can see that that's 100 feet that fits in there. So, yeah, and that's nice. actually what I do in front of my house. I've got two big flower pots, and I've got yeah. 100 feet inside, you know, on the side I of the have house this. and the front of the house. I have this one, and I will tell you that when I had a regular garden hose on it, it was a, it's a nightmare to reel it back in. You, oh, no, you actually it's have to you have to straighten the whole hose out, bring it back around the yard, yeah. run it across the street, yeah. <clears throat> because it's 100 feet of hose. This one, I, I don't have to do anything. I, it'll actually run its way all the way around corners. Oh yeah, because it's so smooth on the outside, it doesn't catch on anything you you can't tie it in a knot you can you can try it'll make like a pretzel but it won't here, tie here. tight while we're talking uh, about and, this. and Lou will show you yeah here. look what Lou did over All here right. I want to show you this okay for instance Crazy here Lou. are two hoses okay there's knots in this hose and there's knots in the bionic hoses you can see right there plenty of knots in both of these okay lots and lots of yeah. knots there's water going to both of these hoses the regular rubber hose there's no water coming out of it the bionic hose you can see that water's coming out of there just yeah. fine now do me a favor guy pull on the end of that as hard as you can with those knots in there yep. okay you're strong look Thank at you. this <laughs> we still got water coming out of our hose and guy and i are both leaning yeah we're not little guys okay look we're leaning here trying to pull those knots. Look. we cannot stop the flow of water coming awesome. out of this thing with the bionic hose so i mean if you're like me and you've ever had that happen where your hose gets kinked you've let out a hundred feet of hose and all of a sudden the water stops now you got to backtrack and so walk back smart. 100 feet to look for the cake. Lou, no, you got you. one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Lou is
tied eight knots in this hose. And there's only four or five in this in the rubber yeah, hose. That's and right not here. one of these and no water is going on to uh, is going to block the water to come through. No. Listen, we we would love you to get this, and I, I tell you, it's, uh, it's one of the. I know you know you look at it as a garden hose, and you think, well, how how impressive can a garden hose be? Well, when you get this thing home, I love this little demonstration too, and Lou will show you that one live. It's so easy to coil up to move it. If you don't have any way to coil it, it's it corrects itself if it gets in a knot. Look at she's got five knots there, and she's still going up to the second story of her house. Listen, don't take our word for it. You know, we have a lot of people that call, and you want to take a quick caller, Lou? Well, let me, let me do this Or you want to do your demo, then no, we'll take your call. All right, so show everybody, Lou. To you. Yeah, <laughs> go ahead. Yeah. All right, I want you to see how this just moves like Quicksilver. Look at the way that this is 50 feet of hose right here, how easy it is to move yeah. this around. But watch this guy. If I want to bring this hose in, watch how fast I can pull this whole thing in. Look at that. Just like that, and it's really lightweight. So if I need to coil it up, man, look at this. How easy this is to do in just a couple seconds. Now, if you ever tried to do this with a regular rubber hose, you'd be out here for hours, you'd be breaking your back, but you know what? This is really simple to do, it's really lightweight. I got 50 feet of hose right here in my hand, and I'm done. We should put Lou That's on, Lou, like, you should be on a horse. Look at that. Like a, like a wrangler with his, like, hey, yeah, look, <laughs> look at you go. And watch that. And you that can, is look how, awesome. how easy it was for me to deploy the and, whole hose. And, and Lou, there's no, even when you threw it out there, yeah. there are literally no kinks Not in kink this hose. It. I mean, Not check it out. Anywhere. I mean, no knots, no nothing. As nope. soon as you, I mean, you pick it up and everything corrects itself and you are perfectly good to go. Good to go. All right, let's go to our phones. Okay. And we're gonna say hi, is it Diane? Hi, yeah. Diane, welcome to HSN. Hi, how are you doing this morning? God, well, doing we're doing great. And I, you know, it's funny, uh, you, you, you took the time to pick up the phone to call us, so you must be pretty excited about your bionic hose. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Tell me why. My gardener was killing four or five hoses a year. <laughs> yeah. And I, I just got tired of buying them. When I seen this, I didn't hesitate. I bought it right away. And I've had it for, I don't know, two or three months. Yeah. And I love it. Isn't it I'm great? I'm disabled and not able to wrangle with those heavy hoses. And right. Stuff, but this is simple, easy. And I don't have a problem with it. And the weed eater or the lawnmower don't touch it. Isn't it fantastic? I love it. And you know, it's tough, it's durable. And, and let me tell you, you saw how I just pulled that thing up. I, can yeah. you hold your hose like this in one hand? I mean, look oh, at this. I got this whole thing in one hand like that. Yeah. I mean, come on, look at that. And then, you know, when you're ready to use it, look at that. Yeah. Just throw it out there. Up on you. Never gonna... the water, you can handle it. I know, I love, I love this thing. And even if it looks like it's kinked, it never, get, it never winds up getting kinked. That's right. All right, no. so, you, so you would recommend this to our friends out there, huh, Diane? I would recommend it to anybody that has <laughs> bought one of those other hoses. <laughs> I agree. Because it's going to eventually, the weed eater, the lawnmower, somebody's going to get it. Oh, uh, darling, thank you so much for sharing your story because I think a lot of people look at it, they think it's too good to be true, but you're going to love it. Thanks for calling, Diane. Okay, y'all have a great day. You too, darling. Thanks, See you, you later. You know, I, I, the reason I was saying it's like, I mean, here's a woman's got probably a busy day today. Yeah. She's picking up the phone to tell everybody to about, about the hose. hose. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, I love that. What the but heck? But see, here's the thing. Once you get this home and you see how well it's made, how strong it is, and how light it is, you're gonna be like, my God, <clears throat> why was I ever using a rubber hose to begin with? I mean, that's yeah. what's amazing about this. And I'm gonna show you this again, this real, real quick comparison. Watch this. There's your standard rubber hose right there, and look how easily I can kink that just by squeezing it. When I try to do that with the bionic hose, I can't squeeze that. And you're gonna be able to have a longer hose now than you ever did before. Meaning, if you're one of those people that lives in an apartment or someplace, you're like, oh my gosh, like, where am I gonna keep a 100 foot hose? Well, I showed you just a little while ago. I'm gonna pick up this bucket right here. You could stick it in a bucket just like that. That's 100 feet of hose. So you're gonna be able to have that 100 feet yeah. when maybe you've always had 50 feet, 25 feet, whatever. Go for the 100, you can now find storage easily for that. Now the other thing too is, and you know, we showed this in the very beginning, how tough this is, okay? This is the kind of thing, you know, like, you know, don't put a pair of hedge clippers in my hands, you know, when I'm out there working in the garden around a hose, because look at this. I'll go through, and you know, in my backyard, I've got to take my hose to get down to my uh, dock. I've got to drag it across uh, through a fence. I've got to go across yeah. a paver patio. Look at the cut I made right there. Right. But with the bionic hose, I can drag this thing all over the place yeah. around metal furniture and everything through a fence. Look you know at that. what I love too, Lou, is if you look at our prices, 
we are so competitive with a rubber hose and pricing oh, yeah. because that's how much they cost a 50 foot hose you can go to my home store they're 30 40 50 dollars that's what they cost so these prices have come down you're going to have this thing year after year after year it takes up less space like i said you know you can run it over you can leave it out in a storm you can let it get hot let it get cold right it doesn't matter it's not going to hurt it you heard diane talking about it i mean you've you got a woman out there that says you know this is something we need to talk about because that's 40 or 50 dollars i got to spend every year she said her gardeners were going through her hoses all the time yeah I, I mean you don't have to worry about that it's low profile lays flat in the grass so you don't have to worry about that if you leave it out there and you run it over with something or you go over with the mower it lays flat below the grass line which is nice but it still gives you full power um we did a uh, it's heavy duty it really it can, is. It can re resist pressures oh. 600 psi you said a garden hole only a regular garden. Your house garden only puts out 660. 60. So, so you've got 10 times yeah. more pressure. Oh, by the way, the ends on this, before I show you the, the difference in the weight, the ends on this are rated at over 100 pounds of pulling. So Good. you can, if this is attached to the wall, and let's say somebody, you know, pulls on it really hard, it needs 100 pounds, an excess of 100 pounds, just to pull one of these ends off here. With a regular garden hose, that is not the case. Now take a look at these guys right here. And again, this is 100 feet of a standard rubber hose, and this is 100 feet of bionic hose right here. And if you look Look at the difference in the weight between these. This ones are about 14 and a half pounds. This is around eight and a half. It's a six pound difference between these two yeah. hoses there. Which again, that, I mean, you might listen to that and go like, well, it doesn't seem like very much. Six pounds is a lot when you're talking about a hose when that's right. you know a third of the weight of the entire thing. Yeah, that's a lot. And I, and I love even just how neat and tidy they look. Yeah. You know, like when you reel it up, it doesn't leave a big mess. No. A lot of people, a lot of people, just because a hose is so uncomfortable and and maybe as you get older, yeah. it's really hard. It's it's, it's it's, I mean, you know, I'm a big guy. It's a backbreaker. It, it's tough to reel that in. I can't imagine somebody 60, 70, 80 years yeah. old trying to reel in a big, heavy-duty, you know, exactly. water-filled hose. What's nice about the Bionic hose is it's less in weight. Uh, it rolls up easier. It really it's does. It's tidier. Yeah. It's easier to clean off. You Let's can rinse it off over easier. There yeah, and, and as far as manipulating it, it takes nothing to do. Um, I have mine on one of these, uh, these hose reels, yeah. winders, at the house. And honestly, uh, you know, what's hard to believe is that this, here that, uh, that we have uh, in front of me, that's 100 feet. That's 100 feet. It you looks like it would only be like 50 feet. And see, here's the funny thing. Like, I've done 100 feet of a rubber hose on a reel like this before and barely, barely, barely gets especially on, once yeah. it starts to get old and right. nasty and it's hard to bend because it starts right. to get really brittle. Uh, you know, it's hard to get 100 feet on a hose reel like this. We could put another 100 feet on here. I guarantee it of the bionic hose. Look at that. And it's so much lighter. This is not going to break your back. You're going to be like, oh my gosh, why didn't I do this before? And then remember, the bucket that's in front of us there, the uh, flower pot rather, right there, that's 100 feet of hose stuffed into a, a flower pot, okay? And if you just buy a slightly lar larger flower pot, you never even know it's there. And that's what I do at my house. Is I've got one in my driveway that has one coiled up in there. The one on the right. side of my house, I just coil it up on the ground because it's that easy to do. And if you look at the ones with the knots over here, okay, yeah. real quick, look at these. Now, both of these have water going to both of these hoses. There's water going to both of these hoses. But this guy, look at the knots in the rubber one. Nothing's coming out of it. Look at the knots. And Guy and I showed you before, we pulled on this thing like crazy. You cannot, if I step on it and I start pulling on this, yeah, nothing, I can't nothing stop stops the it. water from coming out of this because mm -hmm. it's not going to kink. This guy, I can't get any water to come out of that at well, all. And not only that, your, ru your rubber or, or plasticky hose has memory, so when you fold and bend it, yes, it's, it's always going to have a soft it. spot there. And if you have it bent and it's out in the uh, 90 degree heat, now it's basically melted into that position. It won't be long before that cracks right there. Right, and it exactly. Will. And look it at this. Will. I'm pulling on this right yeah, now. Yeah, trying yeah. to get that it knot to stop that flow crazy. of water, and it won't. All right, another amazing? thing that we even failed to mention, which is great about uh, stainless steel, is it's naturally uh, mildew and mold resistant. Yes. So you don't have to worry about that when you look at this. You, know, you, like, you don't see steel, uh, mold growing on steel. It never doesn't happens. happen. No, it never uh, happens. But yet you can, you know, you will get that garden hose that kind of gets this blackish powder on it after a while. Right. And you're like, what the heck is that? So anyway, uh, it'll stay nice and neat and tidy. It'll look nice. You won't get that goo all over your house. Right. And also, um, it, it gives you great pressure. It's a little bit thinner than a regular hose, so it gives you great pressure. So if you need to reach hard to reach areas second third floor of your house you should be able to reach it with a bionic oh yeah absolutely yeah. i mean that's not going to be a problem and you're going to find that you're going to be able you know uh, m for a lot of you out there you've been taking lengths of rubber hose and attaching them together right you know you usually maybe use 50 feet 25 feet and you attach them together when you need to go longer you can have the longer length of the bionic hose you can have that 100 feet because it takes up so much less space because it's so much lighter that you know what don't be afraid go big get the big hose yeah. this time and remember if you have an rv if you're a boater this is going to be 
awesome for you because it's going to be so much better than those coily hoses that you tried or the expandable hoses. This is going to be one that's going to take up a little space. It's going to have the low weight, but it's going to be really durable. And that's always been the problem with all those other types of hoses is they get brittle. The plastic coily ones, they get brittle oh, yeah, and they yeah, break. They you know, the rubber hoses, over a couple of years, they, they get dirty, they get mildewed, they start to split. If you leave yeah. them in the sun, they burst. I've left mine on in my driveway for a J, yeah. my bionic hose, yeah. and not an issue. And I'm telling you, when you talk about hot sun in Florida. Sure. And, and, and it just reflects that sun right yeah. away. It's hard to, to imagine that this will evolve any better than what it is yeah. right here. Because I just think of how how long, how long have, did we utilize just the plain rubber hoses right. before the stretchy hoses came, which were an improvement. It was a vast the improvement. The little snake hoses, which are fun, with a little, you know, that yeah. stretch to them. But the reason they did that is because they were, they're heavy and they're bulky. This is lightweight and it, and it moves. It moves with you. It doesn't move against you like this does. It doesn't melt or kink. You can leave it out all season. It doesn't matter. It's never going to rust. It doesn't stain. It doesn't get mold or mildew. It's the better way to be able to utilize it. And whether you have a boat, an RV, or a car, whether you're watering your garden or using it for anything else, uh, cleaning your gutters, no matter what, you know, oh, yeah. cooking it up to your pressure oh. washer, yeah, doesn't I was just matter. Say that. I did that last you week. Can, you can utilize this in any way and still get that great result no matter what look at it, it's five knots in there and it's still going through that's just crazy it, it is and if you pull on this here if you pull on the hose yeah you can hear that right there that's steel yeah that is a steel hose right there this is not something that's going to kink it's not going to cut it's not going to crush and you're <coughs> going to use this for years and years and that's why it's totally worth the investment on this and as guy pointed out earlier you can spend this much money on a rubber hose okay but you're getting sure. steel you're getting stainless steel i mean yeah, that's always an upgrade whenever last, you can do that and it'll last you year after year after year hey listen um i agree with lou if you are only going to buy one today, uh, get the 100 foot. It's, it's, I know it's a little bit more, but it's, it's a discount when mm -hmm. you think if you try to buy two 50 footers, that's going to be $60 plus whatever. This is only $49.95. Kyle, you said we have FlexPay, right? So these are all available on Flex. I think it's three Flex on the $49 hose uh, for like $18 or something like that. So you do get Flex pay on these to pick them up. Lou's been a pleasure. Been nice a, hour with fantastic. you, buddy, as Thank always. You, Thanks for coming uh, with You're us welcome. today. We got our best value of the day in our second hour by Juliana of HSN Today. Stick around.